We've long been a fan of Chromebooks for several reasons. They're simple to use, minimalist, lightweight, and best of all, inexpensive. Spend less than $500 on a Windows laptop and you're bound to be disappointed. Spend $500 on a Chromebook, and you've got your pick of the best Chrome OS devices on the market. Samsung's Chromebook Pro and Plus for 2017 are the next evolution in that effort. The team at Samsung has paired up with Google's engineers to produce Chromebooks specifically designed to run apps from the Google Play Store, with motion controls, and a multi-touch compatible display. That doesn't mean it isn't a fully featured Chromebook, too. The Samsung Chromebook Pro sports an Intel Core M processor, 2560x1600 panel, and multiple Thunderbolt 3 ports. At $549, though, the Chromebook Pro is one of the more expensive Chrome OS options on the market. Is it worth the price of admission, or still half-baked? The hinged wonder. As far as Chromebooks go, Samsung's offering is on the high end. The magnesium alloy chassis feels sturdy to the touch. It's important to note that there are two models of Samsung Chromebook, the Pro and Plus, but the only differences between the two are CPU and color. Display quality is the best reason to consider the Samsung Chromebook Pro. A review model was the Pro, which features an Intel Core M processor. R was silver, but that will actually be the color for the Plus, with the Hexacore ARM processor. The final version of the Pro will be a darker shade. In any case, the Pro is a simple but elegant machine. It's not eye-catching, but also inoffensive. The hinge is sturdy, and find the balance 360-degree hinges often lose. If you're trying to tilt the screen, it's easy to do so, and it will hold the panel in place wherever you need it to. That allows it work splendidly in both tent and laid-back modes. Fold it all the way around, and it's essentially an Android tablet, although it's not quite that simple. The power and volume buttons fall on the keyboard unit, so they're behind the tablet portion when flipped all the way around. It's not the easiest to use as a dedicated it tablet, but it's far from the most awkward. The device's small size and lightweight make it easy to handle. We also love the screen, more on that in a moment. A pair of Thunderbolt ports, and not much else. The Samsung Chromebook Plus has limited wired connectivity, which doesn't come as much of a surprise considering its size or intended use case. There's a Thunderbolt 3 port on each side of the system, with headphones and a micro SD slot tucked away on the left side, plus a 3.5mm headphone jack. While that might seem limiting to a lot of users, one or two Type-C ports are quickly becoming the standard for compact, lightweight systems. For most of the situations you'll find yourself in with a Chromebook, wired video out ports are a luxury, or completely unnecessary. Still, if you often need to present from a projector or stream to a TV without a Chromecast, you'll need an adapter. Cramped, but enjoyable. Of the two most important keyboard qualities, size and key feel, the Samsung nails just the latter. Each key on the Chromebook Plus is responsive, sturdy, and clicks satisfyingly, providing deep travel not usually found on such small systems. However, the keyboard layout feels cramped, and will feel doubly so to people making the move from larger Windows and Mac laptops. Important keys like Backspace and Tab are too narrow, which is not an uncommon issue on smaller Chromebooks. There's also no backlighting, which seems like a notable absence for the price point. The trackpad is somehow even more disappointing. It's small, particularly compared to the sprawling glass touchpads we've seen on systems like the XPS 13 and Apple's MacBook line. As such, some of the Chrome OS gestures can feel a little cramped. Thanks to the touch screen, you can simply drag around the screen if it grows frustrating, but users sitting at a desk will want to look for an external mouse. Samsung is the only manufacturer to offer a digitizer stylus with its Chromebook. It slips away into the back right corner on the base of the laptop, popping out with a clicking button on its exposed end. Removing it will trigger a pop-up context menu that allows the user choose its functionality. Apart from standard touch and handwriting modes, there's also a laser pointer mode, magnifying glass, and a selection mode for capturing screenshots. It may not be useful in all situations, especially in Chrome web apps, but it can help with precise touches in Android apps. It also has handwriting recognition through Google Keep, which allows you to quickly jot down notes and even search them, assisted by Google's deep learning. It isn't the most well-supported feature at the moment, but frequent note-takers may find themselves reaching for the stylus on a regular basis. A lovely display.
For this high-end Chromebook, Samsung reached for a 2400x1600 display, which boasts a pleasantly high 235 ppi. The Asus Chromebook Flip C302CA only packs in a 1080p screen, while the HP Chromebook 13 does bumps the resolution up to 3200x1800. The Samsung has an advantage with its unusual 3, 2 aspect ratio, which we've seen become more common on touchscreen devices. The ratio makes the display far closer to a square than most, when in turn makes the system feel more tablet-like, and gives Android apps plenty of room to run in both landscape or portrait mode. It's an important detail that even most Android tablets don't get right. The keyboard layout feels cramped. When discussing display quality, we often reach for our Spider 5 Elite, a calibration tool that runs a gamut of tests while measuring the effective output of the display. We don't have that luxury on our Chromebook because Chrome OS is not compatible with the test software, so we'll have to rely on subjective impressions. We came away impressed with not just the contrast and color accuracy, but with general screen quality. Colors hit a full, vivid quality to them, while avoiding the neon-tinted blues and greens that often come along with that. Black levels were satisfyingly deep, giving bright spots a chance to truly shine. That's good news for the Samsung particularly in a category where displays aren't necessarily taken as seriously as they are in other laptops. Here, the Samsung's panel can shine even brighter than it might otherwise. Its closest competitor, the Asus Chromebook Flip C302CA, doesn't have as high resolution a panel, and we weren't as enthused by its brightness or white point. The screen is the best reason to consider the Samsung Chromebook Pro. Turn IT down. The Samsung Chromebook Pro suffers from a problem that many smaller systems share, audio quality. With a pair of downward-facing speakers, it was immediately clear the Chromebook wasn't going to offer up anything besides basic sound reproduction. On the other hand, we found the speakers were more than loud enough to fill a small room with sound. Not that you'd want them to run at that volume, where they cracked and sputtered audibly. Instead, at half-mast. The volume was comfortable enough to show off a YouTube video to a small group without it sounding like the speakers were stuffed in a tin can. Usually fast enough, but the Intel chip has limits. Our review unit, the Samsung Chromebook Pro, was powered by an Intel Core M3-6Y30, a dual-core chip with a 900MHz base clock, 2.2GHz turbo boost, and hyper-threading. It's a well-equipped, if low-power, option for a higher-end Chromebook. It's the same chip found in the Asus C302CA, and just shy of the Core M5 found in the HP Chromebook 13. The other version of this system, the Samsung Chromebook Plus, is powered by an ARM Hexacore Op 1 CPU. That's a forward-looking move that will also save you $100 off the sticker price, but without spending time with the machine, it's hard to say how performance will compare. Our Chromebook testing process doesn't have many actual performance benchmarks to lean back on, due to compatibility issues with most benchmarks. That said, we found the performance to be more than adequate for most users, and in most daily use cases. The system occasionally stuttered or hung for a few moments, but only if there were a lot of tabs open. In fact, we most often saw the gear slip a bit when we were switching back and forth between Google Play apps and Chrome software. Android apps are one of the stronger performance points on the Chromebook Pro. The Core M3 chip is faster than basically anything you'd find in a standard Android tablet, so even the most demanding Google Play apps run smoothly at the highest setting and resolution. We did find there was a bit of a break in time for games like Asphalt 8 and Fallout Shelter. We saw that performance often started out rocky and smoothed out over time. After playing a full game, Hearthstone ran as well as it does on any Android.